Cooking with Cole. Alright. Hi, welcome to Cooking with Cole. My name is Cole Mendez, and today I'm going to teach you how to make stuffed croissants. Last time we said we were going to show you how to make Chinese food, but my cat ran away, and we had to give away all my dogs. So, to make this stuffed croissant, what you're going to need are three cups of flour, an additional one and a quarter cups of flour, don't ask why they're separate, just obey. A package of instant active yeast, you can buy that at your grocery store, one and a quarter cups of milk, two eggs, and half a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter of a cup of sugar. Now, to combine this flour and these three sticks of butter, they're going to need to be chopped. Oh, look at that. Well, now that these are all good, we just need to throw these into the flour. Be careful, you don't want to start making puff clouds. Or maybe we do. No, that's bad. So now we're just going to mix this all in together. You're essentially coating each piece of butter with flour, just so that way they're more malleable. We're going to be adding some hot stuff into this soon, so that's... The, the butter's going to melt, don't worry about it. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to add this packet of instant dry yeast to the one and a quarter cups of flour that I mentioned earlier. And here we go. That was lame. Alright, so now what I've done is I've taken that one and a quarter cups of milk, the, ha the quarter cup of sugar, the half a teaspoon of salt, and one of the eggs, and put it into this nice little stove top pan. I'm just heating it up. You don't want it to boil, you just want it to get nice and hot. About 120 degrees. It's a little bit hotter than this. Now this has been heated, we're going to turn off. Just dish the pork. We're going to dump in our flour and yeast mixture. And then, we're going to slowly stir in this milk, egg, sugar, salt bath. So there we go. And that can go away. I'm just going to stir. Now this heat will activate the yeast. And we slowly cooked the egg. We wanted to make sure it wouldn't curdle. That would be bad. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to bring that mixture over to this feeder. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring that mixture to this beater. Uh, we're on low. We're going to beat this on low for just like few seconds. Just to make sure that everything we stirred in with the spoon is nice and combined. And now, 10, 9, oh, 30 seconds left. Now we're on high. We're just going to beat this for a couple more minutes. Alright. I think we're doing pretty good. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our dry flour mixture and put it in with our wet flour mixture. So we're just going to let that drip in. You want to just slowly add in all this stuff and just be like, mmm. I'm just going to do this in small installments because we're going to try and work the butter in so it melts just a tad of a bit. Alright, so I got tired of the spoon. Now I'm just going with my bare hands. Alright, so I've been kneading this for a while, and so have I. Now I'm going to bring it over to my flour pot. And we're just going to knead this a little more. Don't worry, the butter's supposed to be like that. Alright, so I've been kneading this for quite a while, and I added a little extra flour, just so that way I can keep working with it. And this looks pretty good, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my trusty rolling pin, and just sprinkle a little flour over this, that should be perfect. I'm just gonna doop -a -doop -a -doop, and then -a -doop -a -doop, and we're gonna roll this puppy out. These gonna be some pretty thick croissants. Yeah, so anyway, so wrap this up. And now we're gonna throw it in the freezer. As you can see, I got a lot of frozen stuff. This is gonna sit in here for 20 to 30 minutes, so it's nice and malleable. Alright, so it's been 30 minutes, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flower up the surface. Now, what we want to do is make the dough nice and workable. In order to do that, we had to harden it up a bit. Now, the heat from my hands is going to make this a little bit more moist and malleable than we need, so we need to work fast. I'm just going to throw in a tiny bit more flour. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to roll this out and we're going to layer it up. Now, when you layer, 
you're essentially making the croissant, or whatever you're actually making, uh, flakier, so it gives it a better texture. You know, you don't really want to bite into a croissant, it's really thick and dense, you want it to be nice and flaky, so you roll it out, we're going to try and get as much off this surface area as possible. And what you do is you fold it in on itself, pull it in, roll it out. You want to do this about four or five times, but you never want to fold it in on itself the way you just folded it in. So right now I'm actually going to fold it in like this and do it in thirds. The more layers of flakier it's going to be. Alright, so I fold this thing in on itself and it's been like 10 or 12 times. <laughs> the more layers of flakier it is, I just wanted to reiterate. So, what I have is this nice big oven bag and we're going to take our dough, we're going to put it in there, and then what we're going to do is we're going to just tie, actually I'm going to push out a bit of this here, we're just going to tie this bad boy off. We're going to stash it in the fridge and we're going to let it sit for about four, in the fridge for three hours. Hi, welcome back. Well, our dough is still rising, and it's part of our three hours of it rising. So, right now we're going to make a nice cinnamon and brown sugar compote to put inside our croissant. So, I have half a cup of light brown sugar. What I'm going to do is I'm going to chop half a stick of margarine in here. It looks like a lot, but don't worry. It isn't. And then, I'm going to go for like a few tablespoons of cinnamon. We're just going to eyeball this. So, that's one two and a half. Alright. So now we're just going to use our fingers to just mix this all together. Alright, so what I did is I added about another quarter cup of brown sugar and added another tablespoon of cinnamon. And what you need to do is you need to throw in just under half a cup of flour. It's going to bind it all together and make it into this nice little brick. You did make sure your oven's at 375, right? That's important. Alright guys, so this dough's been resting for three hours, and as you can see, it hasn't really grown, but if you let it rise for longer, it's definitely going to grow more mass, it's going to get a lot flakier, it's going to be better quality. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it out, and it's nice and solid, we're just going to try and roll this out just a tad. Actually, what would be better is that if we quartered it, so we use the dough that we need for now, we can throw this back in the fridge and use it later. Alright, so this bad boy out. You know what's funny is I stop caring about my cameraman's actions. I handed him a pot in this episode. <laughs> Alright, so it's gonna be super simple. Cut into fourths. So we'll just move these guys off to the side. Gonna roll him out just a tad more. You want this diamond shape too. All right. So now we're gonna take a bit of our cinnamon sugar butter mixture. Just gonna smear it, and that's good. You really don't want a lot, otherwise it'll melt and go all over the place. Now, tucking the sides, lightly roll. And every time you roll, try to pull out just a tiny, tiny bit. These are going to be nice little rolls of awesome. I'm going to bring this over. Okay. Fold it out. And move to a tray. Make sure this is ungreased. Take it A! Beat it! Do this! All of them! Make sure that oven is hot at 375! Come on, bitches! You know what's going to happen. These are going to bake for 15 minutes until golden brown and delicious. Alright, we just pulled these out of the oven in 15 minutes and look at its golden brown texture. Cut it in half and all that filling just fills it right inside. This has been Cooking with Cole. Come see us next time. Mm -hmm.